If you're currently using TPMS on your RV or you're thinking about adding TPMS to yours, you're going to want to stick around. TST has just come out with a new monitor. It's an upgraded monitor and an upgrade it definitely is. So stick around. You're going to want to see this. Before we dig into the review of the product, I want to thank the folks over at TechnoRV.com for sponsoring this video, sending this out for us to do a review on. Um, also, I will leave the link down below in the description. Um, if you like what you see and you want to purchase this product, I'll leave the link down there where you can go um, and purchase this product as well. Also, if you are on Instagram, be sure and head over there. Give us a like and start to follow us over there because from time to time, Techno RV will put things on sale or have specials on these things. And when those come out, we'll put that word out over there on Instagram. It's just much easier to do it on that platform. Um, so just watch for specials on our Instagram page and we'll get those out to you whenever they come out. So let's start out by unboxing this, see what this thing comes with. Um, and then we'll pull out my old monitor, do some comparisons, show you some of the new features on this, and we'll go through some of the um, setting options and show you how to set things up. It's so easy that I don't even think you're gonna need the user's manual. Okay, so let's take a look at this brand new monitor from TST. This is the TST 770. It is not meant to replace the 507. If you're currently using the 507 right now, this is not meant to replace that. This is simply an upgrade at this time. Um, as far as purchasing, um, this is gonna be a standalone purchase. There's not a bundle um, with this monitor as of yet with the, with the sensors as far as I know. So if you're, if you're purchasing a TST system for the first time, you're gonna to have to pick your sensors, purchase those, and purchase this kind of a la carte, if you will. You're gonna purchase this separate. Um, unlike when you, um, if you've already used the 507, you might have bought that as a bundle. So again, it's not replacing the 507, it's merely an upgrade. All of your 507 sensors are gonna work with this system, whether it's a pass-through, a cap, or you have a banded system where you have the sensors inside your tires. Um, if you've got a newer RV, um, it might have come with those already banded inside. This will certainly work with those sensors as well. So let's open it up. First of all, um, all of the instructions and your manuals and everything are gonna be online. So you're just gonna use this QR code, scan that, that'll take you right to the user's manual as well. Um, to register the product. There's a QR code for that as well. So you just scan that QR code and you'll be on your way to get that thing registered. So what comes with this uh, 770? Obviously you're getting a new five inch monitor, um, a much bigger monitor, and I'm gonna hold up the 507 next to it and you can see the difference. So that is gonna be give you that much more visibility, easy visibility when you're going down the road, let's face it. We don't want to take our eyes off the road for any longer than we have to. So that, I, th I believe this is going to be an easier screen to see, see the numbers and get your eyes back on the road where they belong. So we'll take a little closer look at this stuff, the comparisons here in a minute. So you get the monitor, the five inch monitor on the back. You're going to see like the little Wi-Fi signal and that's the area um, you'll see here in a little bit where you're going to use to um, program your sensors. So you're also going to get a new suction cup mount like you have with the 507. The difference with this is this is a magnet mount. Just that easy. If you guys are like me, um, I have my RV GPS on my dashboard as well as this. When I'm going to be away from the truck from any length of time, I don't like to leave that stuff out. So this is going to be really nice just to yank that off and get that put away so people can't see it. You're also going to get a, um, an adapter to plug into your your 12 volt port in your truck, as well as the cord. Now, this is a different end. Um, if you're using Android phones, um, I, I'm using Android, so this is a positive for us because this uses the same plug as the Android phones. So basically when you're gonna charge that, um, for me, that's gonna be a positive because I'm not gonna be looking for cords. I already have the cords. So that's what it's gonna come with. So let's dig into this thing and take a look and see um, 
how easy this thing is to use. I'm going to set both of these up side by side and just kind of give you a comparison as we go along. Okay, before I go into the settings of the new 770, I, I've got these both set up on the table on their suction cup mounts. Um, so you can see them side by side. You can see there's a significant difference in the size. Like I said earlier, that's going to be so much easier just at a glance to see where you're at and get your eyes back on the road. So I really like the feature of that bigger screen already. Um, another thing is the new 770 is touch screen. So uh, it's just a matter of touching the screen to navigate through it um, compared to the old 507 where you've got all these buttons over here. And if you're not programming this thing on a regular basis, I mean, it's a little bit of a dog and pony show to program the sensors and things like that on the 507 where you'll see compared to how easy it is on the 770 now. Some of the big differences besides the size of the screen obviously is the mounting bracket. You have these four little slots on the 507. Not really a big deal, but um, you still have to line them up and slide it in there. Like I said, not a big deal, but when it comes to quick and easy, you just grab the magnetic mount on this one. Um, and I guess it's not going to stick to the table as well as I hoped it would. Um, and then you just throw it back up there. So when it comes to taking it out and hiding it, if you're going to be away from your truck, um, that's pretty awesome. So let's go into some of the settings now. Um, I've got this powered up already because I wanted to bring up the sensors and show you reading the sensors. But if you just go into the settings when it comes up, you're going to see you have menu options here. You've got parameter settings. In the 507, you had to go in and manually put those parameters in. Um, as a rule of thumb, it, let's say your cold pressure on your tires like ours are 110 pounds PSI. Um, you want to set that for low pressure for 10% um, below that 110 or 25% above to alarm you. You had to go in there and put that in manually. Now, with the, um, the new 770, you can just hit the pressure alert sensing. You're going to pick your trailer. Um, that's another thing uh, before I go too far is the 507. You could program up to four trailers. Now you can program up to five trailers with this one. So we're going to go into trailer one, and um, I've already got it named, but I'll show you how to do that too. And you're just going to put in um, your cold pressure, what your recommendations on are in your tires. Ours are 110, so we just plug in 110, <clears throat> and you're done. And you exit out of that again, exit and save. And because I put in 110 pounds pressure, and it's been cold down here. We're down to 97 pounds pressure on this one, so it's alerting. To silence that, you just hit that particular tire, and it'll silence it. So it's going to rotate through the tires just like it did with the 507. <clears throat> so automatically put your parameters in there for you. So let's go back to settings. Um, go to parameter settings, and here's where you can choose... Um, your settings if you want Fahrenheit, Celsius, PSI, or bar, things like that. So it's going to set your high temperature alert at 158 degrees as a default. And so if you want to change that, you can just go in there and change that yourself. Hit exit, hit save, and exit and save. Again, we're alerting because that, that pressure is down below 10% of the 110. So another one, um, if you're setting up your sensors for the first time, you just go here, you're going to pick your trailer, ours is trailer number one, and you can see I have it named, I've got a Montana 3120RL, so that's what I named it. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of here, I'm going to go back to there because I already have those tires um, programmed already. So we're just going to go to code learning, we're going to pick trailer number two, just so I don't mess up what I already have programmed. Once you have that, and you can see if you've got a triple axle, you're all set for that. Um, and then the spare tire. They also have a spot here for a spare tire. So that also gives you an indication between front and back of the trailer. So if you want to go to um, the front passenger tire, you just tap that. And then you're going to hit learn. And then you're going to take this monitor and you're going to hold it up to that sensor. If that sensor is already installed on the, um, on the RV, you just basically hold it up to that. If you have banded sensors, 
you're going to go across from that valve stem and that's likely where you're going to find that banded sensor inside that tire so you're just going to hold it up to the tire on that side opposite of that valve stem once it beeps um, then you're just going to hit um, exit save and exit basically if for some reason um, it didn't scan it correctly it'll say rescan and then you just hit learn again and repeat the process so it's as simple as that as far as setting up your um, and scanning your sensors and getting them learned into the system another really cool feature with this versus the old 507 if you're rotating the tires on your trailer you have a swap tire location where you can go in and select the trailer and then you can swap out those sensors if as long as you know where they put them um, you can swap those sensors out and put them back in the right place so a really cool feature there this sensor also has GPS um, or this monitor excuse me has GPS built into it it's not a navigation GPS um, it is basically what I'll do is I'll come back here you can just basically hit it'll show you direction of travel it'll also show you your altitude it'll keep track of the miles you've towed the trailer um, and show you your miles per hour and that's all resettable so if you want to reset that for every trip or however you want to do that you can do that as well so that is a pretty cool feature and just to get back to either monitoring side you just hit that one on the bottom there so as you can see it's pretty easy to um, set up um, also you can disconnect so if you're not using any of these other trailers like trailer 2 I'm not using it this time you can just hit disconnect and uh, when you go back there you just exit out of it you can go back you can see that's no longer highlighted which means that trailer is not being used right now or even programmed so you can do that with them as well okay I also mentioned I would show you guys how to name these um, so if you've got more than one trailer you can name the trailer as well so we're going to go into that there are some other um, besides these six functions you can scroll over and there's five more um, one thing that I failed to mention already is another positive thing in addition to this monitor over the 507 is now you can actually check your battery levels in each sensor so if you just select that tire when you go there it shows you I have three volts in that tire and you just hit, hit each one three volts these are three volt batteries so these batteries are all full so that's a good way to go and check I know as a rule I try to change my batteries out in my sensors once a year um, usually it's in the fall before we head down to Florida I do a lot of that kind of maintenance um, so I do it then um, you may get more than a year out of yours but this is a good way to monitor that so we can exit out of that go back to settings and um, so basically you're just going to look at your 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 functions here so you can go to date and time as well that's very simple you're just going to pick your time zone and that you're in and that's it that's all you have to do to set your date and time um, and then so you can go to vehicle ID and that's where you're going to that's where you're going to name it so basically this trailer will come up you just tap on it and you just type it in and hit exit and you're all set and obviously exit and save every time you change something so I don't know about you guys but I'm pretty excited about this this is going to be a lot easier to see I love the easy setup and um, I love that it automatically um, sets your parameters for your alerts um, really simple to use really easy to see and you can see where this one's flashing when it's monitoring that particular tire these are up to 100 pounds so when they're up to pressure or acceptable pressure they'll be highlighted in yellow and of course if it drops below or above it's going to highlight that specific tire in red so it's going to be really easy to see um, and really easy to use I hope you guys like the review of this product thanks for stopping by and taking a look at it again watch for sales if you jump over to our Instagram page at Jones and to go I'll put that on the screen here for you um, and just kind of watch that we'll put out when they're having sales on different products we'll put them there but if you'd like to purchase this and add it to your vehicle um, the link is down below in this description so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next review Oh, <laughs>